Hi, my name's Liz, and my research focuses on the Beaufort Sea, which is located just north of the Yukon Territories. Um, so specifically, I am looking at the large-scale circulation of the Beaufort Sea, which I will be referring to as the Beaufort Gyre, uh, which is shown in the first photo up here. The Beaufort Gyre is a very special gyre because it kind of has mood swings. Um, depending on how the wind blows. So the second photo up here shows the two moods that it has. Currently, it is behaving in a collecting phase where it flows in a clockwise direction collecting fresh water from the melting sea ice. However, every five to seven years, it has been recorded to reverse direction, flowing in a counterclockwise direction um, and releasing whatever collected fresh water it obtained during that time um, and releasing it into the Atlantic Ocean. So now here's the problem. The Beaufort Gyre has not reversed in over 21 years. So think about how much water that would have collected in that time, especially given the increased rates of melting sea ice recently. So to give you a better idea, um, the amount of fresh water is equivalent to the amount of fresh water in all of the Great Lakes combined. So that's a huge amount of really cold fresh water. It's predicted then that when it releases, it will create a thick cold layer on top of the Atlantic Ocean and prevent heat transfer from the ocean, such as the Gulf Stream, into the atmosphere. This will have huge significant impact on the European climate and fisheries. The European climate might even have worse winters than we have. Ha ha ha. So where does my work come in? My work is to better understand the melting processes of the sea ice. So to do that, I need to understand the heat transfer within the ocean. And the first step there is modeling the flow of the ocean. So in this third photo here, I have shown um, the flow of the Beaufort Gyre using the stommel monk model, which is a system of differential equations. So from here, I will be looking for instabilities um, that will appear in the form of little whirlpools, also known as vortices. These vortices will mix the water um, and the heat within the ocean to contribute to the melting of the sea ice. So while we're not able to change how the winds blow, we can predict the scale and impact of the eventual reversal of the Beaufort Gyre.